Oh wow, this is awesome. I mean, oh hey, um, hey Galickins, what's kickins? Welcome to an indie game called Pokemon Generations. It's a 3D action adventure slash RPG type slash thing slash slash where you play as a trainer in a 3D world of Pokemon. But enough talking about it, let's actually show it off and then talk about it. Let's go! By clicking that button there. Kapowski, that is me in front of what appears to be Professor X's laboratory. In fact, is that my laboratory? Am I the professor? Wait, if I am the professor, I should probably... Hold on, hold on. I'll do a better intro for this then. <coughs> Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Prozhek. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Please type your name in the comments below. <laughs> right, so your name is your name here. <laughs> your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'm Professor Pro as heck. So this is this is Pokemon Generations. You'll immediately see, see loads of Pokemon around in the world around me. Around in the world around me. There's a Pikachu, we use that as our starter. So to do that, we click this little Pokeball button down there. And then we can aim the targeting reticule. And boom! Whoops! <coughs> Go a bit closer. And boom! Have we caught it? Come on! Come on, Pikachu! Heck yeah! We now have a Pikachu in our team, which you can see in the bottom right there. And if I click that, I should be able... Pikachu, go! Pika! Good! Now we're going to a little battle, shall we? Um, so what I'm going to show you today is basically all that's in the game. It's still really early release, but he's updating it... He or she, I don't know. Uh, they're updating it every couple of weeks with loads of new features. And I'm just going to show you what's currently in it. You probably are already madly in love with this. I'll show you how the battling works, because that's my favourite thing about this. So Pikachu, go! Okay, so now you actually move around playing as the Pokemon, moving around in a 3D space. It's not like the trainer battles or wild battles of the actual games. It's a 3D sort of MMO style. Uh, and that Pidgey's going a bit crazy. So you can do the attacks with 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 1 is... Tackle! Pidgey decides to counter with a little whirlwind there. And number 2 is an actual Thunderbolt! Heck yeah, there we go. 3's Tail Whip, I'm assuming. Ow! Pidgey! Stop it! I'm trying to show off the boot! Whoa! I don't know what that one was. Um, do you see the ye little yellow bar below my below my health? That is my PP. So basically I can spam the move as much as I want until I'm out of PP. Now I'm out, so I have to run away and avoid their attacks. So it plays sort of like an MMO, actually, in this. It, it feels kind of like Guild Wars, kind of like World of Warcraft. Um, that Pidgey's just going to carry on attacking that rock, so that's fine. I can carry on talking about this for a while. So, if we go like this, and um, pew, should be super effective. It's actually not doing much damage to it, so we're just going for a tackle. I'm out of PP. I'm out of PP. My PP needs to recharge. Come on, Pikachu, you can do this. There we go. And now, I think I can just switch to a Pokeball and try and catch it. Um, Pidgey, come closer, please. I want to catch you. Pidgey! Pidgey, stop running away! Pidgey! I'll get you. I will get you. You can't... Okay. Pikachu. <laughs> Take care of it. So, like, the tackle and the thunderbolt are all ground-targeted skills. You can see the little curse on the ground. I actually have to aim it, and they can move out the way and, and dodge it and stuff. There we go. So, Pidgey has fainted. And now, if I'm right, we can actually use a Pokeball. We have infinite Pokeballs to catch it. Um, assuming I actually aim it properly. There we go. Yay! And we now have a Pidgey in our party. Um, which we can switch with that. And then Pikachu, return! Pidgey, I choose you! Oh dear, but it's fainted, hasn't it? So what we need to do... Pidgey, return! Is go over to this thing. Now there will be like Pokemon centers and actual like locations and stuff. I'm assuming you just put this here. 
Just so we can heal. There we go, even as a sound. That's good. What we're gonna do is attack this Ratata! 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 I can never pronounce that! We'll use a... We'll use Pikachu for that again. Pikachu! I choose you! Pika! Whoa! Okay, you straight into the battle there, aren't you? Whoa! Whoa, Nelly, come on! I'm just trying to show off the battling, Ratata. You're supposed to lose this one! We agreed that you would lose this one just so I could show off me being pro as heck! Come on! Matata, you're not sticking to the script! What are you doing? <laughs> that really hurt! So Matata is actually pretty... Ratata? Matata? I don't know. The rat is actually pretty quick, like his game, uh, game by game equivalent. So... We're gonna have to use some different tactics for this. Ow, 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 ow! We use that. I don't know what that is, but that seems to work quite well. Oh dear. He's so quick, it's really- Whoa! Okay, but there we go. There we Ow! We got him on the ropes! No, we've definitely got him on the ropes! He's not gonna win this! Ow! Stop attacking Pikachu! There we go. Nailed it. So now, we should be able to catch a Rattata. 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 Rattatui. We should be able to catch a Rattatui. Come on. Come on. Cool! And we've got Ratatouille there as well. So that's three Pokemon now. There are only six Pokemon currently in the game. Um, but if you look at the website that I'll put in the description, he's got models for like loads of them. And it's going to really expand. Every couple of weeks there's an update with loads of new features. Now, you might be seeing these immediately. We've got a Squirtle there over in the water. And we've got a Bulbasaur there. We've got a Charmander which is up on that hill somewhere. So we've got the three starters. We've got Pikachu. And we've got a Ratatouille <laughs> and a Pidgey. So, pretty much a standard selection for the beginning of the game. So we can catch them all. So we'll catch this Bulbasaur now. Um, Pikachu, return. I want to show off something different with the Pidgey. So, come back. And Pidgey, I choose you! And then we go into battle with Bulbasaur. Pidgey can actually... Fly! <laughs> and do crazy, crazy mechanics with the flying. Um, here we go. I don't know what attacks... Okay, it can tackle from the air as well, so that's pretty cool. Cool! That's like a quicker attack or something. I only have two attacks on Pidgey, so we use we just stick to this one. Ow! Bulbasaur! That's my that's my attempt with Bulbasaur's voice. Bulbasaur! Bulbasaur! Okay, it knows Vine Whip. That could be an issue. Ah! We take to the skies again, I think. Can it attack us? Ah! Okay, it can throw, it can throw little leech seeds at us, so stick, sticking to the skies is not a good idea. <laughs> oh, I'm out of pee pee! I'm out of pee pee again! I need to catch this Bulbasaur! My favourite starter in the original games was Squirtle, but let's catch all of them just for the Pokédex completion. Ow! No, Pidgey! Return! I'll be back for you in a second, Bulbasaur. Here we go. I'm sorry, my babies. You're fine now. You're fine now. I won't let anything hurt you again. Saying that, go back into battle. I want to catch this Bulbasaur. We send out Pikachu this time. Finish him up, Pikachu. Oh, he's leech stealing back my health. That's not good. Wow, he's actually leeching quite a lot. That's not fair. I just got to avoid it then. I got to move out the way. So yeah, it's like a 3D game space now when battling. So when he shoots projectiles and stuff at you like that, you have to move out. Okay, I didn't move out the way there. Ah, ah, ah. We'll send out... Ratatouille and said, come on buddy. Because this guy's... Okay, that's Pikachu. <laughs> come back, Pikachu! <laughs> Go, Ratatouille! Because Ratatouille is kind of broken as you saw in the battle. I can do crazy quick attacks. I can just... Wah! 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 
I can just keep on attacking, pretty much. And there we go. Good job, Batatui. Let's catch Bulbasaur now. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Come on. Come on. Heck yeah! Oh, I can jump. Heck yeah! Let's just heal Bulbasaur up and I'll catch the other two starters. And that will be the end of this quick look. This is this is pretty much all there is to the game at the moment, but it has so much percent potential and I'm crazy in love with it. And the guy's also going to be adding like multiplayer and stuff. Loads of stuff. Good. Right, Bulbasaur, let's get you out to the front, shall we? And we get that Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle! That was my attempt at Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle! Squirtle! Squirtle, Squirtle! Squirtle! There we go. <laughs> right, Bulbasaur, I choose you! Right, what attacks does Bulbasaur have? Whoa, okay, yeah, so you have to move left and right to avoid the bubble beam. And then you can attack him with a Vine Whip! Which is super effective, actually, so... Whoa, careful of the bubbles. There we go. Let's try and get a Leech Seed on him. Okay, that was, I don't know what that was. Was that a Growl? Whoa! I think he just... He just deflected my leech seed with his tail whip, I think, there. That was a bit crazy. So we won't try that again. We'll just whip him. Whip him real good. <laughs> there we go. Good job, Bulbasaur. And we've got a Squirtle Squirtle! <laughs> Done. Good. Um, right. And finally, one more to show off, which is the Charmander! Char! That was my attempt at Charmander. I can't do that very well. Um, Charmander! <laughs> um, Pikachu! Bulbasaur! Squirtle, Squirtle! <laughs> there we go. Pitchy! I don't know what Pitchy... Pitchy! Pitchy! <laughs> and there's little Charmander there. So we give him a go. We send out Bulbasaur for that. It's kind of weak against him, but whatever. Bulbasaur! I choose you. Let's go. Let's see what Charmander can do. Okay, he can put down a smoke screen, which means you can't actually target him when he's behind it, so I couldn't send my Vine Whip out there. Or oh, if I did, I didn't hit him. Okay, and then he has Embo as well, which puts these little patches of fire on the ground. Obviously, you can't walk over those. I should be burned horribly. Let's just whip him. Ah! You have to actually be quite close for that hit. And he has Scratch, it seems there. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that was not good. So he plays a bit defensively, he does sort of ground control, AoE, so you can't get close to him. Kind of like Squirtle, except Squirtle also has the deflecting shell and can withdraw. In fact, Bulbasaur, return. i show off Squirtle's moves. And then we wrap this up. There needs to be a spin button, I need to get back to the Pokemon Center pretty quickly. You can't go inside the laboratory, I'm pretty sure. We'll try that out. Hello? Hello? I'm the professor. This is my laboratory. Please let me in. I've lost my keys. I've lost my keys. Um. By the way, people on Tumblr, I would absolutely love fan art of me as the Pokemon professor. That would be totes cool. You would earn 15 billion Zoe points for that. <laughs> right, and let's send out Squirtle. Let's put him at the front of my party. And we'll see what Squirtle can do. Squirtle, I choose you. Here we go. Right, so attack one is tackle. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> attack two is the bubbles, which pushes him back, which is quite good. Attack three is the whip, which is... Whoa! And he can use growl to propel me backwards, I think that was. But attack four is the best one. Withdraw into the shell, and he can't attack you. Squirtle, Squirtle! <laughs> There we go. Okay, let's get out of that, and we we'll use our bubbles. Whoa! Here he lets me. Ah! <laughs> oh dear. So yes, this is this is kind of considerably more fun to play. I mean, the battles in the other games are, are very fun as well, but this is a completely new take on it, and it's also very very fun. Actually, moving around and playing it like an actual fight is very cool. Cool, 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 cool. I can't get past that smoke screen. There we go. 
Oh, he avoided them. There we go. Got you on the ropes. Ha ha ha! So he's running away now. But oh, I've been burned. I'm taking periodic damage from one of these ember burns, I suppose. But we should be we should be able to do this no problems. We've almost got him. Oh, the bubbles go over the smoke screen when he puts that up. So that's quite effective actually. But one more bubble and Charmander will be mine. Ow, what did I just walk into? I'm out PP pee -pee again. Give me back my PP. Pee -pee. Where's he going? Charmander, stop playing funny business. Okay. Squirrel, which it whoa. Didn't think it worked that far away, but it did, so that's fine. Where'd he go? Where was he? There he is. So we catch a Charmander. Boing! Awesome! Um, we catch a... Okay, there's nothing else. We've caught all the Pokemon. Actually, no, look, there's a rock! It's a Geodude! Go Pokeball! Go Pokeball! Go Pokeball! Why isn't it working? I can't catch this Geodude! Or Pseudo Wudo! <laughs> nope! Okay, so that's, that's Pokemon Generations. It's in very, very early version. The link is in the description. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Let the developer know that the game's awesome, because it is. Um... That's it. Thanks for watching. You're awesome. Bye. Hey, right, come on, Charmander. He's trying to evolve you into a Charizard. <laughs>